Fashion Easter Sims. And welcome back to an all-new mating game. 126, I have to say. We have some good people on today. I, I cannot wait to do this one. Take it away, Tink! Why, thank you. And welcome back to an all-new mating game. I'm Tink Fart Smells. We have some returning and a new bachelorette, I see, Fred. Oh, interesting. Yes, it is. I wonder how she's going to speak. I guess we'll wait and see. Returning! Deathly afraid of worms! Walt Whipple! Hey, everybody, I'm back. We haven't seen this nice little young lady here in a long time. You do granny panties! Hello, everybody, I'm back! <laughs> you did it! Oh, hell no! Not her! Say, well, guys, she not to bring her back. Why'd you bring her back for? Hey, I don't bring these people on here. The, the owner does. Oh, yeah, talk with him. Fucking have a talk back. Thanks to see him. A new bachelorette! Oh, Agnes Swinger Purse Crumple Bottom! I hear everybody, I'm here! And it really walked to my head, but I am! Oh my gosh, she works at Hijo Granny Panties. I think she's a little louder, too. Oh, fuck you, motherfucking bitch, hell! And I stomp you, stupid, 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 stupid! And she will, too. And of course, in our third chair, screaming at poor Hijo Granny Panties. And, and cussing, POKE! Yes, I'm here. And our lovely cameraman, Fred. Hello, Fred. I don't know, Fred. I'm kind of curious how this one's going to go this week. Oh, yes. Our little gnome Smokey is it. And I guess Hot Wings are now our mascot. I guess we got to build a damn chicken coop for the damn stage, Fred. Yeah, I don't think, he's, I don't think they're very happy. God, why did I go to this torture with her? Why, why, why? Somebody answer me the damn question, why? You just have to deal with it, Ed. I won't take. She'll eat him! Alright, Walt. Go with your first question. Good luck. Thanks, team. Bustler at number two. What the boy head do you want? No. He's just gonna ask a question. They get it over with and get head shot! What'd you say? Huh? I think she said she go shoot you. I don't know what she said. Set your ugly ass down, hell. Fuck you, motherfucker. I will stomp your ass. Yes, I know. You think you're gonna stop my ass? They really ain't gonna fucking do anything. Damn chicken take shut up. You gonna pull me apart? Good gosh, you run more shit. Anyway, I, I just wanted to see if, if you would like to. If, if I picked you, if we would have a nice day together. I can't boy say a nice day with you! You can barely fucking talk! I'm a rally! I thought I could be understood pretty well. I can't help it if I have this voice. And I was born with it. Butler at number one. A stomp a stomp! What? You gonna stomp me? No, I don't stomp you, Walt! Well, maybe, I don't know, I may want to stomp you. But, I think we would have a very nice date together. I'm sexy and you know, you're sexy too, I think so, yeah. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Hey, we just go on the buddy date. That's okay with me, well, hey. I don't even know what I really know, me and Randy, because you have to get shit, but you know. That's our number one. Yes, it won't! What would you say is your biggest fear? Me? I don't have no fear. I don't feel nobody. Feel nothing. I don't feel nothing. Cool. She's a strong lady. I like it. 
Bertlerin number two. What the boy had he won't know. He's trying to get to know you better, you lady. Ew. What the hell? She scared the shit out of me. Almost. Well, not literally, but you know. What's your biggest fear, Bachelor at number two? I hate you, boy, fire! I am new fear! Ah, oh, feel new, body! Oh my god. He's turning evil, Carl Sanders! Shut up, Ed. Excuse me. Don't you hurt smoke, you old fucking rumble butt bottom! Why does everybody love Smokey so much? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, what's your biggest fear? No. Yeah, he's annoying. I don't like him, fly man to fly van. You wouldn't like him either. But I don't really care for you too much. You're ugly or Don't you cuss me at your old bitch hell! I didn't know you knew that kind of language! Oh my god, I'm shocked! Oh, shut up! I don't wear red fucking hard underwear! Yeah, God, these people are stupid old fucking biddies! Hell, I'm a young adult. What the hell am I doing even on the stage? It's it like a sunny day. It's like a sunny day. You swing your puss? Oh, you want to hit Ed? He play enjoy it. I'd love to get coffee later. That sounds very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna kill Ed one day. This is a tombstone. Maybe, maybe, maybe handcuff him together so he can't get out, even if he's dead. What do you think about that? Oh, you're naked, huh? <laughs> oh, boxing. I like boxing. Oh, my biggest answer the question. Anyway, I would say my biggest fear. Would you leave Smokey alone? I, she won't stop and shut down! It's this woman right here on the stage sitting in the first chair. That's one of my biggest fears. Huge old fucking... What the hell she is to? Kim. Tonka. Really? Kiss my ass, yo fucking rumpled up bottom bitch hell. Butler at number two. What the boy had he want now? Gosh, she's awful, T. I didn't pick her, I just do the show. I don't wear fucking granny panty underwear, she does. I'm gonna fart and let you smell it, you old fucking coot. Oh, fuck you, bitch! Are you fucking cuss me out? Yeah, the Ain't the chicken fucking don't like her. He's a whore, yeah, that's why I said she's a whore. I get shit, you old fucking bitch. <laughs> uh oh, so I got green smoke coming out of the back of my showers. I hope I didn't shit on myself. I wish I could. Oh, good God. I don't think Walt's gonna get any questions in at all. Anyway, Bethlehem right number two. What would you say your favorite food is? Cruel Bits is my favorite food! Bangers and mash, crumpet, fishy cheeks, all that good shit. I see, I see. That's the right number one. Yes! What you want there? What'd you say your favorite food is? Let me see here. My favorite food is. A fried fish with hosho poppy and surprise and coleslaw. That's my favorite food. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> and I guess your favorite food still ham. Hell yes, it's still ham, pork, sausage, bacon, anything made by pig. I love all that fucking shit here. I ain't never gonna change my mind. No, oh, really. You be I don't care how much money you got. You grumpled fucking booger head fucking bottomed ass bitch.
They got a fucking nasty mouth for an old lady. Time out, bitch. I tell you what. Oh, a dragon for Ed. I think I just bought a one. Oh, Alexa. Oh, fuck you, little fucking... Hey, you can't fucking call you damn whore. You've never had sex. Now, he bought that. That was funny. <laughs> He's a clown. That's what they tell you. It was a gesture. I ain't a fucking gesture. Fucking hell, I ain't that her. I don't know why we put these people on here. They just fucking irritate the hell out of fucking Ed for Ed. Oh. Bachelor at number two. What? Oh my god. I have long gray hair. What color is your hair? It's boy gray, you stupid booker! What the hell's a booker? Does she mean booger? I don't know, it's so funny. I'm not far away, she's back here. Yeah, I need to order a llama to kick two woe well, women in the fucking damn buttholes. Hey, go smell it, you bitch! Hey, McGoy! Hey, shut the hell! Oh, I swear! I'm going to kill you, Ed! That's a nasty shit! Oh, fuck you, bitch! Hey, I'll fart my wound! Bachelor number one! I have long gray hair! What color is your hair? My hair is gray! You should know, you've seen me before, Walt! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and my hair is brown, dark brown, and I got bow tie on top. He stinks now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't fucking. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no! That's the rottenest fucking damn old ass I ever smelled! Man, take that, you fucking old cunts, hell. Watch your mouth, Ed! It's a fart war, Fred. Uh -huh. Go to your last question, Wall. I think this is going to be awful. The smell in here is getting bad. My eyes are burning. Uh -oh. Bachelor at number two. What? What do you say your worst date ever was? <laughs> oh, they actually had a wolf stay! I don't believe that shit. I fucking heard you kill fucking three or four damn husbands. I did not kill my husbands! They died accidentally! Things happened! I swear! I just... I, I never... I, I, I don't want to talk about it! Now you fucking damn guilty as hell, you stupid fucking bitch. Oh, really? Bachelor at number one. What would you say your worst date ever is? Well, let me see here. Whooped her. One of my worst dates would have been with Ed Pope, but I never pick him because I would probably kill him. But I did this man by the name of Hushu. Who is Hushu? Horace Ushu? Yes, that's what his name was. I was probably about 23, 24 years old. And I was training to be a sumo wrestler. And he came to one of my training sessions. And he was a little strange, I thought. He had a bowl cut haircut. He had a book of teeth. And his eyes were crossed. But he was very, I thought, a very nice looking man. But anyway, it came off to me when he talked to me a little strange. But I went ahead and thought, he's cute. I go out with him. That's cool, that's cool. Well, we got, uh, we made plans to go out that Friday night about 7 o'clock. Go out and have dinner, maybe a movie or something or whatever. Just do whatever we want to do. So we go to dinner, have a very nice steak dinner. And then we go walk it along, across along the beach. That sounds nice. It, it was nice, but at the end of a sudden, he he puts his head in the sand. Puppy, um. What? 
He put his head in the sun. What the hell yet, Bauer? I don't know. I was trying to figure it out. I said, Horse, why are you putting your head in the sun? And of course, I couldn't understand him because his mouth was covered up. He was mumbling like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I was like, what? What are you saying, Horace? I said, I can't understand you. Take your head out of the sand. So he pulls his head out and blows sand out of his nose into my eye. I can't see shit. So I try to wash my, my eye out with water. I go over there and pull some water in it. And then I go back and, and then his head's in the sand again. And I said, Horace. What are you doing with your head in the sand again? Anyway, I, I just left. I couldn't take it anymore. And, uh, you know, I went by there last week. He's still there. What? He's still there with his head in the sun. He's old and wrinkled now, but he's still in there. How did he, how did he live? I have no idea. Maybe he ate worms. Something, I don't know. Something in the ground. I don't know what he did. What the hell kind of fucking story is that? Uh, Walt Worms. Ah! Worm! No! Why'd you have to bring that up, Bower? You know he hates fucking worms. I really didn't know it's from his little granny panties. I think he's too and dry with her story about the head in the sand. I think you missed it. God, what was your last worst date ever? No, I don't think I can compete with somebody's fucking head in the sand, but I'll try. Anyway, I had this date with this real nice young lady. Her name was Alice Timberlupadooty. Alice Timberlupadooty! That's what her name was, Alice Timberlupadooty. But anyway, besides the name... We had, we had, we had, uh, plans to go on a date. So I took my little, my little truck over and picked her up one night, and we gonna go see a movie or whatever, you know. Just, just have some fun or something or somewhere. What? How do I call me about marriage? Uh, I don't, okay. But anyway, so anyway, we got in the truck and we took on off, you know. And I said, where would you like to go there, honey? Alice, where'd you like to go? She said, well, I've been wanting to eat at McDonald's. I ain't never been. I said, McDonald's? She said, yeah, I've never been to McDonald's. I always wanted to go. I said, all right, then. I don't mind going to Mickey D's. We'll go over and eat. Well, there was a huge crowd of people standing out there. I mean, shit loads of fucking people. I didn't know what the hell was going on at McDonald's. Come to find out Ron McDonald and them were there. Oh, hell no. I don't even care if that motherfucking clowny looking piece of shit. Hell, he's always too happy for me if you ask me. Anyway, apparently she had a thing for Ron McDonald. I, who knew? Anyway, she come running through the fucking crowd, pushing kids down and knocking old women over. Of course, I didn't knock your no, nasty fucking asses down. That was hell, but, you know. I said, what are you doing, Alice? You can't be knocking people over. She said, oh, I had to see Ronnie. I said, who the hell's Ronnie? Ronnie! Oh, Ronald McDonald, whatever. And she called him Ronnie for apparently for a, a, a cute name. Anyway, she made it up there, and she and he sitting there had had a, the oddest looking look on his face because there was kids laying on the fucking ground, and their grandmas and their mamas, and everybody was screaming and cussing, and some kids were crying and shit. And he didn't know what to think about Alice. Hell, I didn't know what to think about her either. Anyway, the next thing I know, she fucking jumps on fucking Ronnie. She jumps on him and knocks him to the fucking ground. I'm like, what are you doing? Clown clothes flying everywhere. She was ripping them off of him. She must have had the hot for old Ronald. His fucking makeup was getting fucking smeared. She's kissing him and 
I don't know what all she did. She's humping this fucking damn clown stick, if you want to call it that. I, I don't know what it was. <laughs> And she was humping. All them kids were screaming, and the, the uh, their grandmas and mamas were, "Oh my God!" I said, "I, I was going. I'd never seen anybody rape a clown, but she raped him. He, he, he after she got done, she started walking away, adjusting her clothes. He laid there on the ground and curled into a ball, started crying." The kids came up, started hugging him, and I didn't know what to think. I, I thought that was just, it was shocking. But that, that was one of the worst dates I ever had. Oh my God, Ed, you've hit a new low. Tell me about it. I can't, I can't help it. We'll be right back, folks, after this brief commercial. God, I hope Fred, it ain't fucking Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for that brief McDonald's commercial. It still looks like he's got a tear in his eye. I don't know. I told you it really happened. Alright, Walt. Would you like to pick Bachelorette number one? Um, bachelorette number two? No. Or Bachelor number three? It's a good guy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick, um... I'm gonna pick you your granny panties. Oh! Go, go, go! I get to go out and take with Walt! Oh, hey, at least he's leaving. What out, huge old granny panties? <laughs> oh. Hey, think you're adorable, Walt. Thank you a lot, honey. Where'd you let's go eat? You know, it don't matter to me anyway, it's fine. Alright then. Yeah, let's go. Anyway, to get up by that motherfucker over there. <laughs> Alright, stay tuned next week, folks, for an all new mating game. Whoa, I think they're flirting. I'm Teak Farthwells. Have a nice evening! Thank you so much, Teak. I think Ed's stories are getting outlandish and out more outlandish every fucking week. Don't you, Nicole? Uh, I have no words, Ed. I can't help it, but it happens. What happens in my life? There's just some crazy shit I have to say. I think Walt and Miss, Miss Granny Pants is having a nice little time together. I think it's going to be a nice date. Don't you? I think so. But stay tuned next week, folks, for an all-new mating game. And thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Sorry. Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.